Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be making this cute little Christmas gift card holder. Okay, so let's see what we need to get started. First of all, we're going to be using this sentiment from the Sweet Season stamp set that's in the Stampin' Up! Holiday catalog. It has Christmas sentiments, Halloween, Thanksgiving, uh, even sympathy or thinking of you. This is a great set and these fonts are beautiful. So let's look at our paper we'll need. I need a four by six piece of designer series paper. This is the Candy Cane Lane from the Candy Cane Lane uh, designer series paper collection. And I have a three by four approximately piece of um, Whisper White cardstock and crumb cake. We're going to be using our layering ovals, framelits, dies on these. And so I cut it a little large so that I could fit the oval on there and run it through the big shot. Okay, so let's get our little pouch ready first. I'm going to get my Simply Scored scoring tool and put the four inch at the top. And then I'm going to take my stylus and score at one, one half inch all the way down. Then I'll turn it and put the six inch at the top and I need to score at one and a half and four and one quarter. All right, let's put this together. We're gonna fold on these score lines. And this is the remake of a Halloween project that I've done recently. And I'll show you that little project in a minute. And just to show you that you can take an idea and use it for whatever occasion that you need by just modifying it a tad with your, your supplies. Okay, so I have two small rectangles formed by the score lines here, and I'm going to cut those off. And we'll leave that center tab. It's kind of hard to see on this side of the designer paper, but there we go. Okay, so now we'll do a little trimming. And so on this tab here, I'm just going to slice off a little wedge right there. Don't need to measure. This puts uh, helps put the little package together more easily and gives it a nicer finish. Then I'm gonna come here and just slice off a wedge, okay? I narrow it down as I get toward that other fold. Okay, so now to put this together, I'm going to overlap there and pull this up. And I see where I need to trim off just a little bit more here. There we go. All right, let's take our fast fuse and we can put some here where it's going to overlap, just like that. And then this part is going to come up and be the bottom closure. Okay, so there's our pouch ready to go. So now let's, um, let's get our gift card ready, okay? Here is one I have that's a used one from Stampin' Up! And I'm just going to take a piece of our burlap ribbon, and it's about 10 inches long. And then I have two pieces of our Candy Cane Lane Sweet twine. Um, it comes in the metallic red and white, and then just a red twine on its own. And I'm going to take this and just tie it around and I want to tie a knot here to make it secure and this just makes a cute way to uh, for the recipient to pull the gift card from the little pouch okay steady pull it tight like that and then I'll I'm going to tie it again so that it holes nicely. Okay, so there, it'll just sit in there inside the pouch. Now, I have one of our little tiny jingle bells, 
and I have one in red and I on this particular project I painstakingly threaded it through this red twine which has more fibers than I care to deal with when I'm making a project like this okay so and I thought I am going to try to find a way to show them that will make it easier so I'm going to try this way I've taken a piece of our linen thread which is wound very tight the fibers are tight and it's very narrow and it's look at there how easily that slips through there okay and it's neutral so it's going to go with just about anything and I'm going to slip it through here and this may be the part that gives me problems with this but there it is and it really goes nicely with this crumb cake and this paper and the burlap ribbon then I'm just going to tie this right like that and then you can trim it off and I like this way much better saves a bunch of time a bunch of time a lot of time okay now we're going to tie this in a bow And then we'll put that aside and it'll be ready to go in just a minute. So now let's do our stamping. And I'm getting real red ink and my Whisper White cardstock. I'm inking up the sentiment. And I'm going to stamp in the middle there. A happy heart makes for a happy Christmas. Love that. Then I'm going to get the big shot and we're going to do some cutting. And when I choose the ovals uh, for this to, to cut my, my sentiment out, I just take my framelits and I just see which one I like the best, okay? I don't do any measuring or anything. I just, you know, do a fit like that. And so I'm going to try to cut both of these at the same time. I have that for my sentiment, and then I have a piece of crumb cake, about three by four. And this scallop oval will give a nice little border around the edge of that. Take my cutting plate to put on top and roll it through. Okay. Two for one. Put my framelits out of the way. And then we'll move the big shot and we're getting ready to finish this project. All right. So let's take this, apply some adhesive, and mount that. And see how cute that is? Love that little scallop edge around the around that whisper white. Then I'm taking one of our enamel shapes and I'm gonna cover the little heart that's down here. That's in real red. Then I'm going to take my gift card and put it inside. And I wanna be sure my little twine bow is on the outside. And it looks like I need to tie that again, folks, but I'll do that later. And let's go ahead and put this on the outside of our package. And there, I promise I'll fix that bow. <laughs> and there we have our cute little gift card holder that you can put together easily with an idea that I took from this Halloween project and made it into a Christmas project. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure and visit my website at inkandinspirations.com for more details, and I will see you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.